Hi, this is Kyle Watts. This is Eminem's album called The Marshall Mather LP. I know I haven't listened to the whole album, but I know that I've heard some of the stuff off of the, uh, off of, off of the radio or whatnot. I, th I think it's kind of cool because it shows him doing some of the stuff he did when he was a kid or whatnot. Like, I really love this picture right here. Let me show you guys some, some artwork. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, the thing I like about Eminem is he doesn't try to be some gangster rapper, but obviously this guy grew up around black people. He had a lot of black friends growing up. And, you know, to me, like, I could totally accept maybe uh, uh, Eminem if he did even try to be a gangster rapper. Because, I mean, look at these dudes. Hey, look at these guys in the video. Look at these black guys here. Look at these black dudes. Like, just look at these black guys. Now, just by looking at these black guys, you know these black guys in the, in the uh, picture here. These, these black dudes right here are not some yuppie, uh, I came from a really good family, uh, freaking suburb type looking guys. I mean, they look kind of street tough, if you know what I mean. So what I'm trying to say is... Eminem grew up around these guys, so he grew up around street people and street life, so he knows what it's about. But he still came out and made himself a mainstream artist so he could make money and get famous or whatever reason he chose to do it. And it worked for him. And namely because he probably knew that if he came out too street, too edgy, people wouldn't accept him. Shady Lane, I'm thinking that's where he gets all his shady freaking stuff from, you know, as far as albums and his alter ego. So, just like Linkin Park, you know, a lot of artists, they live in a certain area and they grab something from that area and they kind of make it a part of their, their, their persona and who they are, which I'm thinking Shady Lane, that's probably why he chose it to call himself Shady or whatever, as his alter ego. So anyway, what I'm trying to say about Eminem is he definitely is the greatest white rapper of all time and he's one of the greatest uh, rappers, period, you know? So, just being a rapper, he's one of the best rappers, and and also being a white guy, he's one of the best. He's the best white rapper ever, and probably ever will be, uh, at least for a long time to come. I wish he wouldn't have taken a such a long break and gotten the drugs and stuff. I mean, he could have made so much more money. I'm a business guy. I look at it from a standpoint. Look at all the money he could have made. I mean, he's already rich, but to me, it's like. If you have a job that you enjoy and you just decide to sit at the house and not go to work for three or four months, you could have made, you know, three extra months more paychecks rather than sitting at your house. So that's the way I look at him not putting out music. If you're an artist, you know, go ahead and put that music out. Make that money, you know. And to me, it's like if you get to a place in life where you can be successful like that, why not continue to push yourself and get the money? Anyway, uh what I'm going to say about that guy. Ah. Well, I'm thinking. Yeah, I respect the guy. You know what I'm saying? He's talented. I don't care what anybody says. I know there's some people that don't like him, you know, or whatever. But I like the fact that he does have different personalities and different ways of coming at music. You know, it's unfortunate that his best music is when he's pissed off. But that's the space that he has to be in to create music. And that's just the kind of artist he's in. He is. I mean, I guess it's kind of like rock and rollers. Like, you got pissed off rock and rollers, and you got happy, fun-loving, talking about girls rock and rollers. Everyone has their their space that they that allows them to flow and be creative. So, just got to respect it. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if any rapper, white rapper, tried to be gangster, I would, it, to me... It, Hands down, I would give a go-ahead, a green light to Eminem because, you know, I'm not saying Mac Miller and Yellow Wolf and, uh, and, uh, who else? Mac Miller, Yellow Wolf, who's the other? Uh, Paul Wall, uh, Bubble Sparks, uh, uh, Vanilla Ice, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, all these white rappers. I'm not saying these guys, uh, didn't, uh, riff raff, didn't grow up around black dudes but and, and experienced that kind of like street life but I think some white guys over others were actually kind of in it 
you know, more than others. So, but it, it, it kind of sucks too because this guy can't come off as a gangster or a street rapper because most black people won't accept that, you know, and that's most of the people. I mean, everybody listens to all kind of rap nowadays. Back in the day, obviously, it was just black people listening to gangster rap, and then it went mainstream, and now everybody likes a little bit of gangster rap. Even if you don't like all the rap, there is at least one gangster song that you kind of like, kind of like that song's kind of tough. You know, it's kind of like rock and roll. I don't care how much you don't like rock, but there's at least one rock song you like. You might be a light rock person or you might be a heavy rock. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that kind of thing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, if the guy wanted to be a gangster rapper, kind of be tough, I wouldn't look down on it because by looking at his friendships and the way that he is and people that he's been around, he's not some kind of white guy that just went out and had a couple friends and wanted to be tough. You know, he actually grew up in those kind of environments. So I would have completely accept it as a black guy. I wouldn't think that he was, you know, putting on a front or a masquerade. I would go, hey, he grew up like that. They're all white guys who grew up like that. It is what it is. Just like there's super yuppie, my name is Bill, type white guy. I mean, black guys. And a black person might look at it like, oh, you're acting white. Well, maybe Bill, maybe Tom, maybe Tyrone grew up around white people. And he talks like that because he played tennis and he went to Harvard and he lived in the suburbs. You know what I mean? Like me, I grew up in the ghetto, but I also grew up in the suburbs. So I know both sides of being kind of proper and what's up, dude, to yo, what up, dog? You know what I mean? I know both sides. You know, what up, homie? Hey, how are you today? You know, I could be either or. So I guess it just depends on what's going on in my brain. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.